Okay, so I am actually updating my blog, but this time instead of writing out something, I am using the magic of video. So those of you who are frequent visitors to headtheatre.blogspot.com, hello! Uh, thank you very much for visiting again. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't posted anything in a while, but it is my blog. Uh, those of you who have followed us for a while may be wondering what's going on. After all, we have got a couple of different projects running at the moment. Uh, the biggest one being the Room at the Top Drama Academy. The RTDA is, of course, my drama academy based on the books that I've got in my room that are to do with the theatre. And the book that we're currently doing is Approaching Theatre for Student Producers by Frances McKenzie. Now, you may all be wondering, well, where's Chapter 3, the analysis of Chapter 3? It's not been done yet, I admit that quite freely, but that's because the book actually made me do something with the knowledge that it was giving me. I started to write and produce something for a change. Um, the item in question, the thing I produced was a monologue from a book called Vlad by C.C. Humphreys, who is the writer of the Jack Absolute series of novels and is also an actor himself. Um, basically, I read this book and I was absolutely enthralled by it. It just captured me completely and I just felt like I had to try and play one of the characters. So I workshopped this monologue, I wrote it. Um, it went down very well. I thought it was quite interesting and then I said to myself, I know on the internet and all my readers and friends on the internet. So I contacted C.C. Humphreys because I felt that was the right thing to do. He uh, he said that he was very excited to hear that I'd made a monologue, but that for certain reasons I couldn't post it at the moment. Um, but he was really, really nice, and I recommend this book to anyone who has an interest in the Crusades in uh, Eastern Europe and of course anyone interested in Dracula because it is a really interesting look at the mind of the man who would become the blood-sucking demon of Brad and Stoker's novel. The other thing that we've been up to recently at Head Theatre is that we've been adding to our collection and before you all go oh no what what other pictures of books is he going to show us? Well as you may or may not have known or noticed is that we are also collecting theatre programmes at the moment and in the past year we put up photos of theatre programmes. Recently we added an extra, well a very large amount of them to our collection. Uh, the first one that I'm going to show you today is Troilus and Cressida by, uh, by Shakespeare from the RSC and this one's quite nice, it's, it's quite retro, I believe it's a 60s edition, Playbill Theatre, Playbill. Um, it's got some excellent advertisements in it. But there's some really, really nice... Oh, Tom Foolery, which is known as uh, as one of the first successes of the lovely Camera Macintosh. My favourite song from the entire show is Poisoning Pigeons in the Park. We've got the My Fair Lady. And yes, this is from the original uh, London production from 1958 with Rex Harrison and um, uh, Judy Andrews in it. It's a lovely program. Then these these are two of my favourites. Uh, this is a London Palladium variety uh, program, and this one is from the London Palladium's very famous pantomime that they used to have every year, which ran for a good few months. This one's actually from 1949. So I'll be posting a lot more of those up on the website, pictures of the insides, pictures of the actual programmes. In fact, if you go to, if you haven't already been to headtheatre.blogspot and you've just come across this on YouTube, if you go to headtheatre.blogspot.com right now, the new background for my updated blog is a collection of four uh, programmes from a rep season at the new theatre with the old Vic Company from 1945. This is literally just weeks after the war has ended. Thank you very much for watching my video. I promise more updates in the future and um, uh, I hope you have a very nice time doing whatever it is that you're doing.